the institute has been identified as an area of excellence by the University Grants Committee, which is the funding agency in Hong Kong. And we are really a multi-institutional and interdisciplinary effort built upon our synthetic chemistry strengths. And we are trying to address energy challenges and trying to solve uh, energy-related issues. I'm Professor Vivian Yam, the Director and the Project Coordinator of the Institute of Molecular Functional Materials. We have identified four grand challenges. The frontiers in supramolecular science, the high-efficiency OLED and PLED materials, high-efficiency OPV and OTFT materials, and also robust catalysts and photocatalysts. And our team is very unique in a way of not only looking at non-covalent metal-metal interactions, but also aggregation and supramolecular assembly phenomena. And I work a lot on platinum and gold complexes. We try to manipulate these non-covalent metal-metal interactions, and by doing so, we were able to change how the molecules assemble themselves, uh, how they align themselves, and this will have a very important implications in terms of the color of these materials, the luminescent colors, as well as their charge transport properties. And we make highly robust phosphorescent gold OLED materials. My name is uh, Ben Zhong Tan. I'm a chair professor in the Department of Chemistry. Uh, for the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. We try to understand the working mechanism of the AIE, this is an aggregation distribution, because the, the luminescent materials are utilized in the solid state or, or aggregation state. So the weakening or the quenching of the emission in the solid state is of course an uh, you know, obvious uh, problem. Our AIE aggregation distribution is exactly opposite to the transitional system. So our system is very, very emissive in the aggregation state. My name is Hak Fen Chao. I'm a professor at the Department of Chemistry at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm also one of the principal investigators of the Institute of Molecular Functional Materials. In the past two years, we actually developed a new methods to make these non planar graphene by exploring a very uh, ancient classic chemistry. And then, uh, with this new methodology developed, now we are able to make a lot of these non planar molecules in a very highly efficient manner. Actually, working in this area is that you are working into an unknown territory. I think this is basically what these striving us to you know, look for and continue to work in this area. I am Chi Ming Chi. I'm a professor in the chemistry department of the University of Hong Kong. I myself am also Professor T. C. Lau at City University of Hong Kong. We both are working together or collaborating working together. It's in the area of catalysis, particularly uh, in the, the use of the light photon metal complexes uh, as catalysts to drive chemical reactions. For some metal compounds that people believe they want to have long lived uh, emission in solution at warm temperature, but we by appropriate uh, Lincoln design, we able to generate long lived high energy excess state, that is the palladium chemistries. And my name is Raymond Wong. I'm a chair professor in chemistry at Hong Kong Baptist University. And my main research focus is on the design and synthesis of new molecular materials, especially those with metal organic compounds and metal containing polymers with energy functions. We are making some new molecular materials that can be useful for energy conversion, uh, especially those are for the light electricity energy conversion, as in the OLEDs and our organic uh, photovoltaic cells. So uh, with collaboration from uh, people of other institutions, especially those are in material science and engineering, so they can provide us some more uh, uh, insight okay, uh, on how to improve these uh, parameters. 
The Institute, besides bringing together people with different expertise, provides a platform and forum for exchange of ideas, for people to interact, and we really also want to nurture young talents, bright minds, and also the next generation of leading scientists.